Hello from Norway and welcome to my trip to the Junkadal National Park. I'm here to visit a wonderful, beautiful waterfall, to make a hiking trip along a river in a canyon. And I'm going to stay in a cabin up in the mountains in the middle of the woods. And that cabin is open for everyone at all times. Unlock doors in the night. And yeah, I'm really curious if I'm gonna be alone both nights or if someone is coming to visit me we will see but I'm really looking forward to the three days I'm gonna have here finally made our way up to the cabin and it was a long climb I have to say the path was or is pretty steep and my backpack so heavy and yeah I I sweat a lot and now I'm starting to get cold so but as you can see a wonderful old cabin in the middle of the woods and it's open for everyone it's unlocked okay so here we have the kitchen part sorry if it's very dark of course there is no <laughs> electricity here uh, in the cabin maybe I can show you with more light later so here we have a table closet and here we have the part of the cabin with the beds and it has space for four to six persons so pretty good but I guess I will be alone here tonight. One more closet. And yeah, the very important part the stove. So I'm gonna try to make fire because I'm getting really cold right now because I was sweating. <laughs> very much uh, while I was climbing up here so yeah that looks nice looks great <laughs> and I'm making myself some hot chocolate and Tala's just relaxing there <laughs> And yeah, we have it warm and cozy now. So yeah, I was so exhausted after we came up here because yeah, the path is really steep and you should be in a pretty good shape when you have a heavy backpack and it just goes uphill all the time. And but once you come up here, you won't regret it because it's just a, such a beautiful cabin and it has all this little necessary that you need on the cabin when you are on the cabin to make a fire or and here we have some more firewood and here we have a toilet and even toilet paper 
isn't that great? And yeah, even more firewood. The concern to run out of firewood <laughs> wasn't necessary at all. I'm not sure, but I think I forgot my GoPro batteries. <laughs> but I'm gonna film with my mobile phone, should be fine. It's a good camera, so yeah, this is my view from the cabin. It's surely um, a cabin in the woods. <laughs> it's in the middle of the woods, but it's up in the mountains too. And we're gonna go explore a little bit now. And at the same time, we're gonna get some drinking water. I think I saw a little stream from the window. So this bucket is for drinking water only. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna take it with me. enough <laughs> um, yeah you really get a feeling like in the old days cozy so just boiling myself some water just the fastest way <laughs> of gas and I'm pretty hungry right now haven't eaten that much today so gonna be good to eat something warm yes mashed potatoes <laughs> but it fills you up it really does it weighs nothing when you carry it and yeah you get really full of it hey <laughs> okay should be all right morning yes I found my GoPro batteries I forgot the charger so I'm gonna film uh, with the two batteries and yeah a little bit with my mobile phone <clears throat> and see how long we reach yeah and as you can see we have nice weather today and I'm on my way down from the cabin to the valley and I want to visit a very beautiful waterfall today but the waterfall is actually on the other side of the valley so we have to go down on the other side and yeah it says that it's very impressive and I can see it from here actually but I don't think it will be good on the camera now. Um, yeah, but I'm <laughs> excited. And it's pretty warm too. I started to go with my winter jacket. Totally crazy. I had to take it off. And now I have to yeah, carry it around my hips. But yeah, <laughs> I think it will be alright. Amazing. just bought myself some lemonade and chocolate bar <laughs> and now we are on the path to the waterfall and you actually can see it from here already 
I'll show you. So there it is. <laughs> wow. I love that the path is right beside the river and it's so beautiful crystal clear water and yeah it's amazing perfect weather hiking weather and yeah couldn't be better I'm just taking a little chocolate bar break. Um, scenery is just amazing. And you have a campfire spot right here by the river. It's very common in Scandinavia <coughs> to make campfires outside. Okay, we have to cross this bridge. It looks pretty new too. Another campfire spot. And I'm gonna take a look if we can get down to the river. <laughs> I lost my balance. It's okay. Um, <laughs> and Tala has the bait, of course. I'm sure the water is ice cold, but very, very nice quality. And we have another hanging bridge here, so I wonder if we have to cross it um, on our way to the waterfall. Wow, this literally takes my breath away. Go! This is just an amazing spot. Wow! Okay, I think we are getting closer to the waterfall. This is just an amazing piece of nature here. Wow!
of course we are climbing up the path now because we want to see the upper part from the waterfall and we want to get closer to it have a closer look wow this is so amazing the path is pretty steep but we're gonna make it Okay, now we are walking up on the other side of the waterfall and um, yeah <laughs> just to take a look um, how the view is from here on the other side That was just an amazing hike to the waterfall. It's so impressive. It must be one of the most beautiful waterfalls I've seen so far. I know there are many more. <laughs> but you have all these little details. It's more like it's hundreds of waterfalls in one. And yeah, you have these trees growing in the middle uh, of the river and in the middle of the waterfall and you have those pools with crystal clear water and oh, just amazing. Yeah, very, very impressive. Amazing hanging bridge. <laughs> it's really moving. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have some breakfast and then I'm gonna clean the cabin so that the next one who will make an overnight here is gonna have it nice and yeah fantastic cabin I liked it a lot and I guess I will come back sometime So we have 
got down from the cabin and I left it cleaned at next person or the next person that will stay there I think they will like it too as much as I did and now I'm on a hike um, it's a nature reservoir I don't know how you call it in English exactly um, but it's a protected area and the path goes along the river and I just read a sign that says that that it's a big danger for rock slides here along the path and in this area and it's still a very big danger and it still happens a lot that slides are happening and how extremely dangerous it is to walk here so I just thought let's go <laughs> let's give it a try oh wow it's really beautiful I think uh, we will be all right <laughs> I think I can guess why it's a big danger for rock slides here. Mountains are extremely steep. You really can see all those little rocks everywhere and I have to say those Steep mountains remind me of the mountains in western Norway where I've been living for some months, uh, some years ago because of work and yeah they, they really remind me of western Norway, very impressive and absolutely no joke um, what I read on the sign so you always have to be careful and of course it's much colder here in this canyon too because yeah it lies in the shadow all the time and we have the river floating so it's it's really chilly here, I have to say. It's still alright, but you can notice the difference, really. This is incredible. <laughs> Reminds me a little bit of Southern America. A little bit like <laughs> jungle vibes and yeah, typical little beach by the river. And we have crystal clear water. Nice.
just Norway. That's how it is. Beautiful, stunning nature and that's why I love Norway so so much and it's very important that we protect those pearls of nature and I really can understand why this area is protected. The waterfall I visited yesterday it was back in 1982 they wanted to build a station for water energy. They did a boat. Um, it's my dog scratching in the sand. Um, and they did a boat, and people voted if they want to have this energy station, water energy station, by this waterfall. And luckily, more, a little bit more than the half of the people said that they didn't want it and it's kind of sad that it just was like a little bit more than 50% but I'm glad that a little bit more than half of the people still were able to use their brain <laughs> so I, I really don't get it how money can have such power and that some people and some companies just would do everything for money because we only have this one nature and once destroyed it will never be the same and as it were because it took like thousands or hundred thousands or even million of years to make it like it is today and it's very important that we remember that and how precious nature is and I always wonder how people can just throw garbage in nature out of the car and I see it every day I even saw it just before when I went down by the path I found some garbage right beside the path down from the cabin and yeah I just picked it up but I I really got angry because yeah I don't understand things like that but that's how it is sadly but there are many positive things too that things are changing positively and many people are changing their mind and yeah, I'm very happy about to see that. Those days in the National Park went by so fast and I had a wonderful time surrounded by this stunning nature. And I even got the cabin all for myself, both nights. And I really loved the cabin, even if it was a little bit scary in the evenings. It was just so dark and I knew the door was opened and I'm just not used to that. But it really was a special experience and I loved it. And when I sat there in the sun, I just thought if I would be born again, I would love to be born again in Norway in the exact same area where I come from. And that just shows me that I'm exactly where I want to be. And that makes me so happy. And yeah, I hope you liked the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.